Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last day or so on the channel, I've been referring to the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 26085 that rolled out on the 20th of March to the Canary and Dev Channel Insiders in the Windows 11 Insider program. Now, I originally wasn't going to make a video on this Build 26085 because there's not much really happening and at its heart and core, it's really a bug fix update. But I've changed my mind because I've been referring to this build so much with other videos I have been posting that are linked to build 26085 that I thought, let me just get an official video out there. And if you would be interested, just to tell you what's happening um, in the Devon Canary channels for this week in build 26085. Now, as mentioned, at first, there is not much going on. It's really a bug fix update. But we do get a improvement that's worth noting and we also get some key fixes for known issues. So if you do find yourself in the Canary Dev channels, then you may find this video useful. Now, first of all, referring to the improvement, and this is a feature that was first introduced in build 26080 that rolled out last week for the Canary and Dev channels. And I posted it on this and I'll leave that video in the description. But um, Last week, this feature wasn't uh, available in the official change log, and now Microsoft has officially listed this as a feature in the change log for this week's um, Canary and Dev Channel build, where they say Windows insiders who have Bluetooth LE audio capable assi assistive hearing devices can now set up and manage their devices via settings accessibility hearing aids and i do apologize for the quality of this screen grab i took this from a previous video i posted and this didn't come out too well so there we go hearing aids and if you click on that it takes you into the hearing aids page and there we go so basically microsoft says this new accessibility settings page allows you to check your pc's compatibility for bluetooth le audio and pair and or manage a set of hearing devices for a more streamlined configuration they also say that please note that this page is a work in progress and the contents of this page may change over time because it's still very early days in the Canary and the Deaf channel. So there we go. Um, there's now a hearing aids page for the accessibility of side of things uh, in this latest uh, Canary and Deaf channel build, which is now official. Last week it wasn't mentioned in the change log and I always am in favor of accessibility features rolling out to any operating system and then to focus on some fixes for key known issues that have been causing a bit of problems in the canary and dev channels over the last while they fixed an underlying issue that they believe to be the cause of shutdown and hibernation not working in the previous flight which is build 26080 file explorer has six fixes which i'm always happy to see if microsoft is working on improving the file explorer um, sudo um, has two fixes now sudo and i'll leave this video as well in the end screen of this video uh, sudo is a feature where you can add linux's sudo command to windows which is expected to roll out with windows 11 24h2 and i posted on that so go check that video out in the end screen and as mentioned the canary and dev channels are where microsoft is working on features for the next annual feature update windows 11 24 h2 and then when it comes to the windows security they fixed what they are calling a high hitting windows security app crash in the previous flight once again that was 26080 which is believed to be potentially the cause of insiders reporting that the windows security app icon in the system tray was sometimes missing in that flight so that's been addressed and then we have two fixes for settings. And here's another key one. Windows Update. They fix the issue causing insiders in the dev channel to see the error 0x80070002 when trying to install cumulative updates. And that was quite a major headache for a lot of insiders in the dev channel. So that has been addressed um, with this latest um, build for this week. And then... Just one other one I think is a key um, improvement and fix. It's actually a fix for a known issue where they say most popular games should work correctly again in the most recent Insider preview builds in the Canary and Dev channels. 
but they also no state Microsoft says, please be sure to submit feedback in Feedback Hub on any issues you see with playing games on the latest builds. So I also think um, if you are doing quite a lot of gaming with popular games in the Canary and Dev channel, obviously they say things should start working a little bit better now if you do find yourself affected. So as mentioned, not the most so-called the, be the best and biggest build to write home about, so to speak, build 26085. But nonetheless, I thought I'd just make an official video um, because I have referred to this uh, build so much over the last day or two and just wanted to put it out there in case you would be interested as to what is happening in those channels in the Windows 11 Insider program. And as mentioned, Canary and Dev is where Microsoft is testing features that are going to be rolling out with Windows 11 24H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.